Today, we'll take a look at using properties within LifeRay Analytics Cloud. A property allows you to define and associate a label to a single or multiple sites. This allows you to aggregate the analytics data for all associated sites with the property onto a single dashboard. Now, this is particularly useful if you have multiple sites in your DXP instance and would like to analyze them as a single site. In order to create a new property, we'll go down to Settings and find Properties in the sidebar. As you can see, we have a couple available properties to us at the moment, including our default Marvin Robotics property. At this point, we can click New Property. For property name, we'll go ahead and type Marvin Robotics Intranet. Now with this property that we'll be creating, we will be tracking the analytics data from both the Marvin Robotics Intranet main site, as well as its associated child sites. We'll click Save. And at this point, we'll go ahead and sync the relevant sites. So we'll do that from within our LifeRay DXP instance. But first, we want to make sure that our Analytics Cloud workspace is properly synced with our LifeRay DXP instance. And we can do that by going under the Control Panel into Instance Settings and clicking on Analytics Cloud. As you can see, we have our message, your DXP instance is connected to Analytics Cloud, which means we're good to go. We'll click on Synced Sites on the left. And at this point, we have the opportunity to manage our synced sites and connect our intranet sites to our property. So we'll click on Ro Marvin Robotics Intranet. And we'll go ahead and select the sites Marvin Robotics Accounts Team, Marvin Robotics Intranet, and Marvin Robotics Web Team, and click Done. Now at this point, we have successfully synced those three sites to our Marvin Robotics Intranet property. Likewise, we could sync contacts to a particular property. So if we click on Synced Contact Data, we can see that for our generic default property that all of our contacts are selected. So we'll go back to our Analytics Cloud instance. Click on this once again. And as you can see, it is updated to include the three sites that we've synced. Now at this point, if we wanted to go ahead and manage the permissions for our property, currently it is set to have all users available to see this data. But if we wanted to restrict that to only certain users, we could click Select Users, then OK. And then we could go through and add users to give them access to this property. We'll keep it on all users for now, though. We can alternate between viewing different properties on our Analytics Cloud workspace. We click on this Marvin Robotics up in the upper left corner, and you can see we have a, our list of properties that we can freely switch between. So as of right now, there's not really any data on this because it's a new Analytics Cloud instance. If we were to switch over to one that's had some time to gather some data, you can see just as before, we can switch between properties. Uh, I'll go over to LifeRay Japan, and you can see that data does change to reflect the data specifically for LifeRay Japan as opposed to the English version of the site. Now keep in mind that you cannot sync a DXP site with multiple properties. So if you try and do that, it will be grayed out and not selectable.